If you haven't driven one, you could be forgiven for thinking that the Porsche Macan is not to be taken seriously. It looks like the result of a 911 and a Kylan that were fused together in a teleportation accident, it's frequently spotted emerging from underground parking structures in Tribeca, and, you know, it's a four-door hatchback Porsche. But a few minutes behind the wheel of a Macan will reveal a compact crossover that holds true to almost everything we love about Stuttgart's best exports. The Macan is quick, agile, and rewarding to drive. It feels athletic when pushed hard, but it's also comfortable around town. The steering, brakes, powertrain, and chassis all respond to inputs from the driver in near-perfect harmony. Sure, it's not as immersive a driving experience as in Porsche's classic sports cars. But it's surprisingly close. And, yes, it puts the compact in compact crossover, don't think you're going to fit two kids and a dog in the back seat. But the Macan is still more than we ever dared to hope for from Porsche's foray into suburban environs. It's great enough, in fact, that we have previously presented it with one of our 10 best trucks and SUVs awards. The Macan family grew by two in 2017, with new models on either end of the lineup. A new entry-level model features a 252-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine that you can find in multiple Audi products, but otherwise it shares most standard equipment with S models. The best news about this new model is its starting price, at $48,550 it comes in $6,900 less than the Macan S this year, Porsche also added the Macan GTS to the top of the Macan lineup accepting the 400 horsepower Macan Turbo, reviewed separately, which uses a 360 horsepower version of the twin turbo V6 that powers S models. The GTS comes standard with an air suspension and adaptive dampers, larger front brakes than the Macan S, 20 inch wheels, and several GTS specific appearance items, including lower dorsal extensions and front and rear seats trimmed with micro suede. Porsche's new touchscreen infotainment system is now standard in every Macan. There are also new optional LED headlights, an available heated, micro suede trim steering wheel, and three new exterior colors, volcano gray metallic, night blue metallic, and carmine red, the last of which is only available on the Macan GTS. If it were our driveway, we'd pick the 340 horsepower twin turbo V6 Macan S. It's quick fun to drive, and at $55,450, it's the best balance of performance and value in the Macan lineup. Interior fittings vary only a little from the entry-level Macan to the Macan S to the Macan GTS, so most of the cost bump between models is associated with changes to powertrains and other mechanical equipment. Damn phones, Babylon's came